What's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 173, and today we're talking about how to study and dissect your medium. Study and dissect your medium. Just stay tuned. I'm going to explain. I want to welcome you. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, put a one in the comments. If this is your first time watching. To all my OG members, if you've watched me more than three or five times, put OG in the comments. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. As always, I'm live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. And I'm going to make this quick tonight because I have tickets to the movies with my husband. We got a date night. And I've been in the office actually all day working on my podcast. Um, if you don't know, we have a podcast called The Hollywood Bound Actor. Shocker, right? The Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. And I took a little break from it as I worked on my book, Playing Small, which is out now. You can click anywhere and find it, right? In my bio, in my feed, you'll find it. Um, today, I just saw that I was number one on hot new releases uh, for... Um, performing arts reference. So I'm really excited about that. And I want to thank all of you in advance who have already purchased the book. And if you have bought the book, take a picture with the book and tag me so I can see it and I can shout you out and, um, and share it. Um, just so you know, today we're talking about study and dissecting your medium. And if you don't know, I've been going live every day. And shout out to Sh shout out to Shamika and Ms. Jada and Jakir and David and Sheena and all of you who've been popping on as I've gone live every day. Hi, Denise. We are going live every single day because I am teaching a full day in Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th at the Bronze Lens Film Festival. Instagram, the link is in my bio. Facebook, it's above or below. I would love for you to come join me and get my get my so I can get my hands on you and let's really dive deep into how you can book more work. So in honor of that event, which is called Level Up to Stardom, um, we're doing the whole Level Up to Stardom series. So today's day 11 of that. And so I figured why not blend my Actors Daily Bread show with Level Up to Stardom. So that's what we have here. But um, if you're new to me, you'll hear that I always, I often share about my methodology. People say, how did you start booking so much? You know, um, some of you have been shouting me out. There's a movie called Stuber that is out now that I'm in. And um, a new show, Light as a Feather, that's on Hulu. Well, it's not a new show, it's their second season. You can catch me in the first episode of that for season two. So I work a lot, especially in film and TV. And people often want to know how, how. <laughs> what I'm doing, what, how, how can I break that down? And one of the big things that I would say is that I really took the time to dissect the work that I wanted to do. So that's what I want to just put in your ear tonight on this Sunday night. Um, hi, Manuel. <laughs> Thank you for watching, right? That's what I just want to put in your ear tonight. So whatever medium. And so when I say medium, I mean, if, if it's theater, if it's film, or if it's television, if it's musical theater, whatever the medium is that you desire to work in, I am trying to tell you to, I want you to study and dissect it. I want you to dissect that thing as if you were a private eye, as if you were a private detective, like as if you were getting paid to just di to dissect every single detail about what you see on television. So I naturally always lean towards film and TV because that's what I teach. But this can apply to you if you're doing theater or musical theater. Because if you say, look, if Denise is like, I want to dominate TV, that I need Denise to watch television like she, it is her job, because actually it is. And how do you dissect it? Can we get into that? This means you're not long. You're no longer watching television. You're no. Lo you're no longer watching film just as a spectator only, like just clocking out, checking out, eating your popcorn, eating your meal as you watch, and then two hours have gone by. And you're like, ooh, that was a good movie, and I'm crying. Now, yes, you may still be affected by it, of course, but the way we dissect it is looking beyond what is just being shown to me as a spectator. My husband, who's not an actor, tells me all the time, he said it last night, we were watching that new movie, Other, Otherhood on Netflix, and he was like, 
he'll point something out about somebody's wig or some special effects. And he'll be like, oh, you ruined television for me. I can't even watch TV and film the same way. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm always working. I'm like, oh, interesting. They chose that color for her. Oh, mm, mm, that wig is cute. Oh, oh, you see how they got that light? Oh, I liked how her angle was. Interesting that she wore those shoes, I guess, to balance that out. Like, I'm really, I still enjoy it. I'm still able to enjoy it, but I'm also understanding that I'm seeing myself in it. I'm seeing myself in it, and I'm not outside of it. Does that make sense? Um, so if you're just hopping on, we're talking about how to dissect your medium. Hi, Orlando. He asks, will my book be available at the workshop? Um, I don't plan on traveling with a bunch of books. The best thing to do is to get it on Amazon and then bring it and I can sign it. We can take some pictures. How about that? I'm already traveling with so much stuff. Um, I'll, it'll be very minimal. Um, so that's just honestly the best way you can get it the next day if you have amazon prime and then like i said we can just take some pictures but more than anything um i'm really excited i'm teaching at bronze lens my whole methodology mindset acting marketing and auditioning and even for my people who were there last year at my event in atlanta i really want to take it a step further and really dive deep into some really some really good tactics for on-camera work because that's my sweet spot. So if you have a desire to work more in film and TV, um, you really want to be there because my strategies have really helped me. And all my, my actors who are in my Booking Magnet Academy, my inner circle, you guys know it's really been helping them. Some of you are here on the thread. So I'm so excited to meet more of you. And I'm honored to come to Atlanta because Atlanta was home for me for so many years. And the Bronze Lens Film Festival is just the bomb. So that collaboration is so wonderful. Um, I just wanna check some of these comments. Um, Tiff, acts, Tiff acting up on Instagram says, I'm so glad you brought this up because my kids say that I'm always doing that too. <laughs> um, Manuel said, I've been doing that in lieu of acting classes. Okay, for now, gotcha. Um, absolutely. So that's the thing. Whatever, wherever you want to work. So if you say, I want to do musical theater, I want to do musical theater, but you're never going to see a, you're never going to a musical theater show. You're never studying old shows online. Like, how are you growing? How are you, how are you getting to know what is happening? And television is always changing. And let's be really clear. So when I say dissect your medium, also, all of television is not created equal. Can we, can we agree? Right. So TV, even though I say TV is um, TV is very broad. So we even have to dig deeper there. So Orlando might want to do he may see I want to work. I want to work in television, but really he really may want to do prime time procedurals like a law and order or a show that's based in a um, uh, a courtroom, a courtroom drama, a medical drama. That is totally different than a, a multicam show multicam comedy that is also television you see what i mean so you see how broad we're broad sometimes and what messes y'all up is and my, used to be me too <laughs> what messes us up is not knowing specifically what my target is and of course we're actors we want to do it all but i'm here to tell you when you decide to when you decide to zone in and really niche down and be like, nah, for the next six months, I'm focusing, I'm laser focusing on procedurals. I'm laser focusing on prime time. I'm laser focusing on soap operas. I'm laser focusing on, on musical theater. When you get that specific and you study and you start to see yourself on that screen, you're not just watching like, oh, this is a great show. You're watching like, where could I fit in? Is my haircut the right cut for this kind of show, for this kind of genre? Huh, hmm, I need to get me a blue suit because see, I wanna, I wanna play a CIA agent. I wanna be an FBI agent. I need a, I need a suit for my next audition. Mm. You see what I mean? And that is the work that I do. Some of y'all are trying to reinvent the wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel, just put some rims on it, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. Look at the shows you want to be on, see what they're wearing, see what they look like, and get that outfit, prep that hairstyle, so that when you get that opportunity, or as you're marketing yourself to the power players of that show, you show up looking like what they already need. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Some of y'all are making this too hard. 
What should I wear? I don't know. Look at the show you want to be on. The shows and the types of characters that you want to portray already exist. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. I literally watch shows. I'd be like, hmm, lawyer, black woman, because I'm talking for myself. Okay, that color looks good on her. Okay, and that show, a lot of times the shows are not lit for my skin tone. So this color makes me, brightens me up. Okay, I'm just going to go to Nordstrom Rack or Target, Walmart, and just find that outfit. <laughs> I'm just going to recreate that. And then when I have my next audition in person, or if it's a self-tape, I am just going to recreate that. And all of a sudden, I'm going to show up on camera and I'm like, you just seem so right for the part. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> because in addition to clothing and hair, I'm also paying attention to the tone of the show, the pace that the actors are talking. Right? Right? Orlando says, I'm definitely trying to be a booking magnet. There is no try. You just are. Declare it to be so and so it shall be. It is done. Just say it out loud. I am a booking magnet. I am a booking magnet. I am a booking magnet. I am a book. I am a booking magnet. What? You didn't know? Listen, when I started calling myself that, people were like, what the heck are you talking about? They may not have known what I was talking about, but all of a sudden the people calling me that to my face. So now people are speaking life into me every day because I started speaking life into myself. So there is no try. There is only do, right? So just speak it to be so, and so it shall be. Honestly, love it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Jasmine Chanice says, yes, rooms. Wonderful. Listen, so that is the word I wanted to give you today. Again, real quick, I had to make this a quick video because we are headed out. Um, but I promise to go live every single day. And listen, if this, if you are enjoying this video, first of all, give me some love, give me some hearts. If you're watching this on YouTube later, subscribe. If you're watching, if you're listening to this on the Hollywood Bound Actor podcast, have a new episode coming out tomorrow. Please, uh, wherever you like to listen to podcasts, just type in Hollywood Bound Actors. That way you'll be sitting in traffic. I think you can listen to it and don't and you're not distracted by my beauty right you can just listen to the podcast <laughs> um but i'm so excited again thank you all for your support my book playing small is out now and we reached the number one new release in performing arts of reference i'm so excited and i want to thank each and every one of you for that um and for those of you yes orlando i am a booking magnet bam and so you are Yes. Shakir says, speak it to be and so it shall be. Facts. Absolutely. Gosh. Um, where is my book manual? It's on Amazon. And you're on Instagram. Just click the link in my bio and you'll connect right to it. Um, but just, or you can just go to Amazon and type my name and type playing small. All right. Have an amazing night, everybody. Thank you for hanging. Study and dissect the medium that you want to dominate. Can we take it further? Whatever medium you want to dominate, whichever one you want to kill, murk, study that. If you want to do commercials, study commercials. But you can't expect to book the way you want to book and to work at the level you want to work at if you don't become a student of the thing that you want to dominate, period. You have to know what's going on at all times. And that only happens when you study and dissect. Good night, everybody. Bye.